We got some big breaking news on Ghost Rider in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He may or may not appear in the upcoming film depending on the current cut of the film, what makes it to theaters, and the fact that Marvel Studios might react to the leak by completely cutting him. Do, do the scoopers still think it's 2011 and that everyone is stupid? insiders and scoopers who like to go out there and tease what's coming and how they are in the know and some of them claim oh we're gonna keep it a surprise we're not gonna reveal to you what's in the film but then they're willing to drop exclusive huge news like the extra from a netflix show is in fact joining one of the marvel studios projects apparently that that's good that they can leak that but they can't leak the stuff that you know propels them into where they are today in the scooper culture well, they're at a war. It's like a civil scooper war, if you will. Because various different insiders have been claiming there's definitely a Ghost Rider in Doctor Strange 2. It might be Nicolas Cage. It might be a new one. It might even be the one we saw in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It might be Robbie Reyes. We don't know. Now, apparently, the narrative has changed. There are multiple cuts of Doctor Strange, and apparently, they're going to decide right before the premiere which one makes the cut. And apparently, Ghost Rider might not make it. Why? Well, because Marvel Studios is going to react to the potential leak and the scoopers knowing what's in there by cutting him out. Now, that narrative worked in like 2010, 2011, when there was like one scooper who would drop a scoop every three to five to six weeks. And then, you know, he could be like, well, I guess I don't know. And then El Mayimbe just sort of walks away from it. But today's scoop culture is literally dropping something major every day. So are you telling us that you spent years now saying Ghost Rider is in this guaranteed and now they're going to pull him in last minute cuts because you scooped it? Then why didn't they do that to anything else? Literally anything else. This to me screams of, well, maybe he's not in it. And we haven't known anything, so now it's time to just uh, put our, you know, news out there that, oh, he might not be in it, but trust me, bro, he was in it. They just cut him because we were on to them. Or you just didn't know. I mean, why are all these people, suddenly the same people who were confirming Tobey Maguire is in this thing, saying that we're not going to the Maguire universe? Why? Did they cut that too? But weren't you guys saying that they literally spent an entire month reshooting most of the film just to add cameos so did they then just reshoot half the film to add cameos only to cut all that and restore the original cut which narrative are we using now